For our next tutorial, we're going to look at the collapsible panel extension for ASP.NET using the AJAX Control Toolkit. If we look at the AJAX Control Toolkit demonstration for the collapsible panel at ASP.NET, uh, we can see how this works. Uh, you'll see here that we've got this area up here that has some header text and what looks like a little button on it with some arrows. When I put my uh, cursor over that, you see show details at the tooltip. If I click on this, it expands a panel. Uh, that has a bunch of content in it, uh, images, text, and other stuff. And if I click on it again, it hides. Actually, I can click anywhere within this header region, and it will expand and collapse that information below. And also notice that the image is switching on the right-hand side from up arrows to down arrows. What's happening here is we have two panels. This top panel is our header panel, which has some header text uh, and an image that we're going to toggle. And then the second panel is this panel below it that has the content that we're hiding and showing or in other words collapsing and expanding every time we click on the panel above. So let's see how we do this in ASP.NET. In Visual Studio I've created a website already called uh, Collapse Panel and I've already added my toolkit script manager to the page. Now the next thing I need to do is add a couple panels, the header panel and then the panel that we're going to collapse and expand. So to do that we're just going to go into our standard toolbox and I'm going to drag two panels onto the page and set their width properties. So I'm going to drag the first panel on and I'm going to set it to be 300 pixels. And then right below it I'm going to drag a second panel on and I'm also going to set that to be 300 pixels. So the top panel will be used for our header and our images that we're going to toggle back and forth, the up arrows and down arrows. And our second panel is going to be where we put our content that we're going to hide and show when we collapse and expand the panel. So let's start by just adding the stuff we need in the header. So for header, let's just assume we're doing this for some sort of page on a product and maybe we want to hide and show product information. So I'm just going to type in product information as our header. And then I'm also going to add an image uh, to this for us to put the uh, those arrows, the collapse and expand images, for uh, uh, to show whether or not we want to hide the panel or close the panel. So to do that, I'll just grab an image and I'll drag that on there right next to the product information. Uh, if we go to the source view, we'll see that in this panel, we've got the product information I wrote and then the image right next to it. Now. Uh, I'm going to make some changes to these names here. I'm going to call this top panel instead of panel 1 PNL header just so we can keep track of things a little bit better. I'm going to call the image IMJ toggle and I'm going to call the second panel where we're going to put our information PNL info. Alright, now uh, since we've put in an image control we need to tell this image control what image to use and so by default we want to use the collapsible or expand arrows. Uh, now to do that uh, what we need to do is bring some images into our project. Now I've already done that here you can see that I have the collapse and the expand JPEGs already included in the project folder. Uh, you can get these images by uh, googling for them or you can just go to the Ajax Control Toolkit site on ASP.NET and if you right click on the image and save image as you'll be able to save that little JPEG. You can also click on it down and then get the other one, the expand one, and save that image as well. So once we have those two in our folder, put them in the folder with your project. So when you create your website it should have created a folder in the website uh, folder of Visual Studio 2008 in your My Documents uh, according to the name of your folder, or, I'm sorry, the name of your project. Put the images in there and then to have them show up in your Solution Explorer, you want to go to Website, Add Existing Item, and it should open to that folder, and you can see your two images there, Collapse and Expand, and click Add, and that will put them in your project. And now we just want to add that to uh, that image control that we added. We want to have it start with the Collapse image. So you can uh, click on the image control, and in properties you can find the image URL which just tells it what uh, image to use and you'll see that it will show you the ones that are available in your folder and we're just going to use collapse and hit OK. You'll notice that that updated the property for the image to have image URL equals collapse.jpg. You could just type it in there as well. Okay, 
if you go back to your design view, you'll see product information, and we've got the we've got the uh, um, arrows right there by default. Okay, next what we want to do is add the content that we're going to hide and show uh, in the bottom panel. So um, since we want this panel to expand and collapse, we'll make it stand out a little bit by changing its background color and then adding some text that we want to hide and show. So we'll go into the properties for this second panel for back color. Uh, and we're going to select, uh, let's just make it light blue and say OK. And then I'm going to add some text. This is the text and content we want to hide and show when the panel is collapsed and expanded. Okay, so that's the content we're going to hide and show on our page. Now we've got our two panels set up. Now all we need to do is add our Ajax Control Toolkit Expander, for the collapsible panel expander, to this second panel. So to do that, just like we do with all of our other extensions, we click on the Smart tag, click Add Extender, and the third one in should be the collapsible panel extender. You'll notice it will create a new control panel info, info collapsible panel extender. And click OK. And when we go to the source view, you'll see that below panel info, is the collapsible panel extender. Now all we need to do is set some properties for the collapsible panel extender and we'll be able to have the functionality that we're looking for. So if we click on the collapsible panel extender then we'll see properties in the properties window there's several things that we want to adjust. First thing we want to do is we want to set what the what control is going to govern when the panel is, con is collapsed and expanded. And if you remember in this last example we showed on the website at Ajax uh, the tutorial website, if you click anywhere in this panel, the top panel, it opens and closes the bottom panel. So the control that is controlling the expansion and the collapsing of the bottom panel is this upper panel. So we want to set both the collapse control ID and the expand control ID to be the top panel because this, whenever we click in there then it will make the bottom panel open and close. So we'll type in here the name of the top panel which we called PNL header and we'll also put that in the expand control ID PNL header. Okay. Next what we want to do is set the collapse image and the expand image and this is the image that we want to show in that top panel when it's collapsed and when it's expanded. So when the panel info is collapsed what do we want to show? We want to show the expand image so that when they click on it it will expand. And when it's expanded we want to show the collapse image so that when they click on it it suggests that they should be collapsing the panel. Next we want to add the text that we want to show in our tooltip for the image. So collapse text we'll say show details because when it is collapsed we want to prompt them to click on it to expand it and show the details and in the expand text we want to write hide details because when it is expanded we want to suggest that when they click the button it will hide the content. Okay. Then we want to set the image control ID and what this is is just which image do, should we flip back and forth with the collapse and expand images when the panel is collapsed and expanded. So what we want to do is we want to switch that image that was in our header panel, the image toggle, to switch back and forth between collapse and expand JPEGs. So we'll put in the image toggle. Okay. And the last thing we want to set uh, is the suppress postbacks to true. We don't want this to post back on us when we're clicking in the panel. And we also want to set the uh, collapsed to true so that it starts off collapsed. Once all that's set, we've got all the properties set for our extender. We should be able to run this and it should work. So let's see the design view. We'll hit play. And you'll notice that we've got our header panel, product information with our image. When I put the tooltip over it, that show detail showed up and we're seeing the expand uh, uh, image right now. If I click on that, the panel opens up. We see the content that's in that second panel. The image had switched to the collapse image, and it also switched the tooltip to say to hide to say hide details. And when I click on that, it collapses the panel. 
Okay, and now I don't have to just click on the image, I can click anywhere in the panel because the panel itself is the control for the collapsing and expansion of the second panel below. Okay, very easy way to add some extra functionality to your web page using uh, ASP.NET and the AJAX Control Toolkit. Happy coding in ASP.NET.